across the map, as we can see now, and we also saw it in the first game on this map. Uh, let me just confirm the colors. Fenrir blue. Maybe next time red, it's correct. Yeah, so actually Fenrir going for immediate deformer instead of expansion, which is, uh, I would say, quite unusual on this map, especially with Fallen, but we'll see what maybe next time will do. Right now he's of course just gathering resources, but that could still be anything. We see one peasant, okay, building a, a barracks. So no one is going for quick expansion, even though they are across the map on pretty big map. Or maybe they are not so far away from each other, but you need to run around. Of course flying units can fly through the middle, even though you cannot fly over these mountains or rocks, hills, whatever. Uh, you can still fly, fly through the middle, uh, because there are just some uh, small water areas. And of course you can fly over these and attack the villagers, for example, with Hive Stingers or Valkyries. But yeah, we see two Hives, one Barracks for now. All harvesters on gold for now, also on peasants all on gold, one on wood here. Building a pretty early on tower and also going for a scout with peasant as well. Fenrir instead of that making free hives and wants to go for a hive stinger rush. Which is not ideal for him since the enemy is so far away and also he's building this super strong, uh, super defensively strong base. Uh, with two barracks in the front like this and tower in the back and also not instant expansion so he will also have some swordsman ready so I don't think Fenrir will be able to rush anything but he still goes for free hives Fenrir, uh, sorry, maybe next time checking this position finding out that Fenrir is not there Fenrir on the other side is checking this position also not finding anyone there but also Swordsman from maybe is going here. This person will probably not survive for too long, but he can probably still micromanage him out for a little longer. Same as this Hive Stinger, of course. Yeah, but the peasant eventually died. The tower is being upgraded now. I mean, Fenrir knows that uh, maybe next time he's not here, but he still doesn't know where exactly he is. Maybe next time already found him with his peasant. But now also Fenrir is here, so now they know about each other's position. This tower is not finished yet, but before the Hive Stingers can get here, it will be finished. I'm going for a Town Hall upgrade to Stone Keep. Pretty. Uh, balanced population taken, but Fenrir has a little bit more and also a little bit more resources, so he is in a little bit better position. He's not even making harvesters for gems right now. Probably wants to do the strategy that he saw me do in the previous game against Evik. But of course I did it because of the map. Here I would definitely not go for a uh, uh, Sting Rush, but we will see what he figures out. Maybe he will go for expansion now, he has resources for that, that would make quite sense. There's one scout here, that's also nice. We see some Swordsman push. To be honest, Fender will probably win this small skirmish, but... The Swordsmen are still also pretty decent, but he needs to escape to his tower. Uh, the temple is pretty in the front, uh, pretty uh, like uh, really far away from the tower. Of course, he wants to have the full circle around the temple available for healing. <coughs> Sorry, healing, but he could have just built it maybe here or something. And I personally would still just stick it to the barracks and stone keep, so it's protected a little bit better, even though you couldn't use the whole circle. But it is pretty decent range, so you can still put the units around it, even if one third of the building is blocked by other buildings. But yeah, Fenrir finally going for expansion, as expected. Also building incubator. Still
still not getting any gems, okay. Just spamming more and more Hive Stingers all around the map, he has scouts everywhere. Maybe next time also trying to at least run with one swordsman around to hopefully find something. But you can kind of expect this expansion without even seeing it. I'm still not sure what his strategy is. I would expect maybe some Valkyries, but right now he doesn't have expansion. He doesn't really have map control. He only has seven swordsmen or eight and one temple. Yes, resources for expansion, but actually he wanted to go for tower here. But he won't be able to finish the upgrade before it gets destroyed by this Hive Stinger. So he will need to go protect it. At the same time, um, Fenrir is going there with some extra Hive Stingers. Actually, he's repairing the tower. That is smart, but... He let Fenrir kill the peasant there. Now Fenrir is bringing all of his Hive Stingers here. So this is destroyed, now he will get rushed from the back, needs to micromanage this priest out, maybe move the swordsman a little bit back, ah, but you need to continue with the priest here, yeah, this was not too well played, but he will still manage to defeat this obviously. Pretty balanced population and resources now, but you have to keep in mind that Fenrir has the expansion already finished. Also some units at home as well. But maybe next, uh, next time maybe next time we'll maybe uh, rush him with swordsman and priest. He just can keep producing more and more units. But he will still go for the expansion just to make sure. Also Fenrir has the con map control so he can just wait here with maybe 10 stingers then try to push something, harass a little bit, stop the expansion as expected. Uh, while maybe next time is maybe pushing here, maybe he would even destroy this, but he's just far away. He doesn't have the map control. Yeah, so this expansion is of course dead. He cannot really retreat, he just needs to make a move here. Just start pushing. I don't know why the priests are going the other direction, that's pretty dangerous. There might be some high stingers. Which they are not, yeah, and uh, retreated with all of them. But still, another scout here, so even this will be stopped. Maybe next time really cannot expand anywhere right now. But the Fenrir will now have slight problems defending this, I think. If the priests can actually get there healthy. He needs to protect the, them with Swordsman and kill this Hive Stinger. <laughs> Fenrir is actually playing. <laughs> yeah, Fenrir is not playing a building simulator one time and actually trying to play a little bit more aggressively. Uh, but I really don't like this micromanagement of maybe next time with his priests. Now he just sacrifices his whole army. Or maybe he will actually kill these Hive Stingers, but he cannot push this. Most likely. Yeah, there was maybe some slight push here, but he got killed. There are some pikemen even. Yeah, so maybe he will lose this expansion, but he now has some hive spitters, which would be countered by the pikemen that are here, but they are not in this location, so they won't really help. I also don't think he has trailblazing yet. Also, once again, priest just died here for free. He wants to destroy the Dark Fortress. Now even left the mission. Yeah, I mean, he needs to commit to one thing. Now he just... I mean, I think it was smarter to go destroy the units, but he was just letting them hit him for a long time. Now he didn't destroy anything, just lost all of his units. I mean, at the same time, he's establishing his own base, even though I don't understand this. Blocking totally two-thirds of uh, the path to these gold fields, but okay. But he has a decent army at home. Maybe he will be able to make it work. With these towers it should be hopefully quite safe. 
Yeah, we see some scouts here. Two Ice Stingers actually. Yeah, this will be finished. The towers will kill the Ice Stinger. So now it's two bases against two. Of course Fenrir had it for a little longer, but at the same time maybe next time has a little bit uh, stronger army, so I think it's pretty balanced still. Even though I think Fenrir was a little bit ahead in the early game. But now we see him go for Chamber of the Avenger, Sorrow Shrine, Diamond Gen Gate at the same time. While also having two Vengeance Halls already. Maybe next time building two more barracks, not really transferring to anything more advanced. Probably just want to use his gems for priests and maybe pikemen. And outside of that just spam ton of swordsmen with all the gold that he, he will have. Yeah, Fenrir, mm, he kinda committed to map control and scouting in the early game. He scouted every single part of the map. He had really good map control and that is why he was ahead. But now he just uh, kinda fell into this uh, lazy part. <laughs> Uh, that he's just standing here with his army. He maybe sometimes uh, sends one scout somewhere, but he definitely doesn't have map control. Yeah? So now maybe next time could actually take advantage of that, expand himself maybe, just try to utilize the map when it's not being controlled by the Fallen. So this is definitely a decent mistake from Fenrir now, but we'll see how it will end. Now we see some scouts finally coming out, but at the same time uh, maybe next time is already here. Pushing the towers, we will see if Fenrir will go there, I would expect him, him to go there, but maybe he will be too scared, but yeah, he's going. Uh, one pikeman died here actually, probably to the tower. I don't think he has grasp. At the same time, we don't see the trailblazing still, I think, so yeah, his spitters will be definitely able to kill this. Just needed to take the... Or I mean, pikemen are also good against harvesters, you actually see resurrection, that's really good. Unfortunately, the amount of ice spitters here is just too huge. So this will be a loss for maybe next time in this fight. But he's finally going for some catapults, which makes sense when he sees the army of maybe uh, of Fenrir. Now also going for Avengers. Okay, so he lost these harvesters. Now maybe next time he's a little bit ahead with his resources. Actually, both places are probably kinda running out of resources in their, in their main town already. So they will need another expansion, but now definitely, maybe next time has better income. Uh, but Fenrir has definitely stronger army now, so it's still kinda balanced. And yeah, I don't know why Fenrir is not creating harvesters here, now he started. Also from his main base, but it will still take him some time before he can fully recover this income. Yeah, so we see some scouting again. Maybe next time we'll to take this. At the same time, Fender is taking this expansion. So those are the most obvious ones. Yeah, the closest ones to your main town, both on the surface and in the underground. Uh, there is still one scout of uh, Fenrir, just a little bit behind the trees. I'm not sure if we can actually see this. I would probably need to turn this off. Uh, sorry, not this. This. Yeah, I don't think he can see anything there. But Fenrir has this base, not making any harvesters here yet, but he definitely will have also some resources ready. Mm, the town hall is not even being built here yet. He doesn't have resources. Of course, maybe next time has 20 more population. Taken up, he has one catapult ready. Even making an arc, probably to micromanage the catapult. Because there are no expansions that you cannot reach uh, through ground. Of course you can just transfer to these locations, but there are scouts everywhere. Even though actually this is a scout of maybe next time. Maybe you can take these bases somewhere. Yeah, so that is the... actually another scout, okay, but there is a swordsman. Uh, Pepsi just subscribed, thanks man. I really appreciate that. This is the third subscription of this stream. Uh, up till this day, uh, we had only one subscription on this stream, and it was actually a gifted subscription from Solskip, I think, to some player that uh, or viewer that was not even here from that from that time. And now we have three subscriptions this stream, so I really appreciate that, guys. Uh, hope you are enjoying the stream, of course. 
Some of the games are maybe a little bit more boring, but some of them are also really nice. And yeah, I hope we can at least finish these two rounds. Tomorrow we'll hopefully finish the other two rounds. And I think of course, I mean, obviously it would be also nice to finish the semi-finals and finals tomorrow, but I'm afraid that won't be possible. So then I would I will need to somehow agree with the remaining four players when we will have time to actually finish the last games. But yeah, we saw a pretty brutal fight here between Fenrir and maybe next time. Some Avengers and Ice Peters totally killing him with all that range damage. <laughs> maybe next time think lol. He definitely needed more catapults and uh, played maybe a little bit more safely. Oh, actually I didn't see this. Nice uh, attack with Swordsman from maybe next time dropping here with his arc. Yeah, this is the alternative to Flying High Stingers from Fallen. This is what you can do as Empire. You can just put your Swordsman or even Pikeman into your Gnome Arcs or even Catapults. And just drop it somewhere and kill the uh, the villagers. Of course, as you can see, Fender is immediately reacting to it with some lightning spires. Uh, but of course, I think it's are much faster. So have pike damage, which can, which can be sometimes useful to killing harvesters or borons. With that pike damage. But yeah, maybe next time it's still sitting on more population, even though he got pretty killed there. We still see only... I mean, this base is not finished yet. Just started. Okay. Maybe next time doing this again. Fender not really reacting to it. Just standing here with all of his units. The towers got destroyed there, which caused a ton of resources, of course. He left one swordsman there, but... Oh, actually, okay. He upgraded Grasp on his harvesters, so now he's able to kill the units pretty quickly. Pretty decent tower here. Maybe it would be uh, upgraded to kill potential scouts, but at least he knows about this location. On the other side, Fender is scouting this. Maybe next time still kind of just sitting here, actually building another tower. Yeah, I mean, those were the obvious expansions. You'll see where the players will decide to try expand next. Maybe next time we'll try this. Maybe they will try some surface expansions. Okay, this is a huge army of uh, maybe next time. Ton of pikemen. Um, I mean, he wasted mana on this elixir of strength just to move them quicker, but it regenerates pretty quickly. We need only 25, so it shouldn't be a problem. He's also making some swordsmen now. Uh, he doesn't have that many priests, but he started, or I mean, he has decent amount of them, but he started mainly adding some catapults, which will be really important, and unless uh, Fenrir actually starts making some flying high stingers to deal with the catapults, I think he will have a really big problem. But we also see stalkers, uh, and there is zero, zero anti-air. I would definitely like to see some phoenixes, or at least elf rangers. But we don't see either of that, or of course mages, but that's a little bit more advanced. We don't see either of that, so right now it might be a little bit harder to deal with the stalkers. But if there is just one or something, uh, it will be probably fine. Uh, there was one pikeman scout, I don't know where he came from, but probably died to the towers. Did like one hit maybe. Yeah, so another scout of Fenrir died here. Catapults, so I mean... Fenrir is expecting this attack. He doesn't have that many Avengers and High Spitters die even quicker to catapults. They are kinda missing each other, I don't know if that was the intention, but uh, he should definitely protect these catapults somehow. Not leave them so much behind like this. As you can see the Stalkers are gonna scout them. They have full mana, I'm expecting him to already have the file upgraded or researched. That is done in the in the astral note, and since he's making another upgrade here, I am pretty sure he already did that. I mean, I heard somewhere shooting them, the stalkers, but I don't know where. So it seems like both of them are going for an attack. Uh, of course, maybe next time we'll scout this. I don't think he will be retreating, especially with these super slow catapults. 
I think it, they will go for a base race. Just we can destroy it quicker. Oh, actually we see another push here. Okay. Yeah, I mean, Fendrir thinks that he, uh, of course, defended it now. Maybe next time also thinks that uh, he has all his units here, so both of them feel safe. Now this will be a shock for both of them, I think. Maybe next time he needs to start pushing, now when he sees this. These two catapults can deal some damage, but it won't be enough to destroy all of this. Especially if he starts using the Stalkers, which he did. So as I said, this will be a base, ra uh, base race. Still no more expansions anywhere on the map, but you have to keep in mind that uh, maybe next time has the towers. And they both have ton of both have ton of resources, so they can definitely start utilizing them. Uh, yeah, some Avengers are being produced here. Yeah, it seems like the phone is throwing it definitely quicker, but uh, maybe next time is wasting some time with these control forms. He needs to micromanage the units a little bit better. Also, some pikemen are standing here idle. But he finally sees Summoner moving away, trying to get some more buildings, but he cannot really do it anywhere. There are towers everywhere, so he will need to go to the surface probably here. But yeah, this will be destroyed soon, this is already destroyed, now he's going for this. Uh, to be honest, it will all fall pretty quickly. I don't know why he's making the farms here, that's not too safe. But actually, yeah, this is a big mistake by Fenrir, because he's going here and now, if maybe next time realize that, he can just escape with all of these peasants from here, through this entrance, so he should definitely do that, start building around the map. So it's actually, I would say, much easier, of course, uh, with Fallen you don't need to build the buildings, you just place them down and you can continue, but some are of course a little bit slower, you don't have that many of them usually as peasants, so if you spread the peasants around the map, you can start building on different locations at once. But as you can see, he didn't actually escape with them. He also doesn't have an arc here, so that might be a little bit of a problem. More summoners are escaping, as I said, he's going to this location. Uh, also, we see one summoner here. Of course, it will be dead. Maybe next time was quite AFK here for a while. I mean, if the armies fought against against each other, uh, may Fender would probably win that. But you still have to keep in mind that they have 3,000 gold there. Yeah, if they just make some production buildings, they can still create huge amount, huge amounts of units. But none of them actually have any production buildings now, so they can just all spend it all on uh, buildings. They both have around 300 wood, so that should be also pretty balanced. Uh, these towers are pretty useful, but as you can see, it's actually dealing damage slower than the Dark Fortress is being built. So, that's not, not gonna help too much. We actually see Fender going this way, which is um, kinda unlogical, I would say. He already knows about this tower at least. Oh, actually, maybe next time totally ignore this. Even though he was already here, I mean it was quite quite obvious that if one base was here, then another one will be on the surface, but he probably uh, was scared that uh, Fender will re be returning this way once he saw this tower, so he wanted to go here and actually start fighting. Uh, there are three Hive Spitters. He will of course retreat because he's expecting the uh, remnants of that army, or the remaining units, rest of the army behind it, but I think he will pretty soon realize that it's just three high spitters. And so the whole army of Fallen is going all around the map. Uh, to be honest, if I remember correctly, he already has Resurrection, so he probably doesn't have Disciples upgrade, but still he can probably keep this alive for quite a long time. Also he has a ton of pike damage and four catabolts are pretty decent, so I think he can actually destroy this if he micromanages it well. Maybe he's actually gonna play it defensively. Uh, but I think he's probably thinking that this is the only expansion uh, that Fendred has. At the, uh, at the same time, he has four hives being built right above him. He just needed to take one unit and bring it, uh, bring it up to find this. 
And it's totally unprotected, so this would be a free kill. We'll see if Fenrir will even go there, but probably yes. He doesn't want to give that up since he pumped so many resources into it. Maybe he should have actually started building here, but we'll see. Fenrir actually making another expansion, okay. Deformer. Yeah, this is definitely gonna take some time. Okay, this was a mistake, obviously. Maybe next time sacrificing five, five pikemen. And those were the important units for him, especially when he can resurrect. But we will see. I think with the pikemen he had a chance now. I don't really believe that he will win this. Especially when he can be a sky tier out like this and the catapults will never reach Fenrir. But we will see. Maybe he will not be kiting anymore. Uh, we don't see Defile yet. I don't know what Fenrir is waiting here for. Now he casted it. Maybe next time should instantly micromanage them out. Now he's not using his catapults at all. But at the same time he's actually able to just push this with uh, Resurrection alone. So this is really good for maybe next time. I think he can definitely win this. Now he's just about fun founding, uh, finding all the expansions of Fenrir. Yeah, but now he... Okay, this was actually quite interesting. Fenrir now brought these four high stingers. So maybe next time should definitely instantly realize that they are coming from here and there is an expansion. I don't know what is this, but okay. Uh, yeah, but he just keeps scouting with Spike Man. I don't know why he doesn't go destroy this, but okay. I mean, you don't need to spawn your whole army here and get one-shotted by towers, but... Uh, bringing one swordsman or a peasant there wouldn't be a problem. Also, we don't see any other expansions from maybe next time he's just standing here. I don't know what is his plan. I should have definitely destroyed these towers first, but... Okay, he just wants to destroy the economy. And I mean, maybe next time has a ton of resources. He just needs some wood, so... I would just put all peasants on wood, maybe create three barracks and pump out more pikemen, maybe something like that. Now we let him finish these towers. Also pike damage is not the most effective against buildings. Fenrir is saying no. I'm definitely not expecting Fender to leave a match. He will play forever even if he has no chance. So we'll need to wait a little bit before maybe next time destroy all his buildings, but I'm pretty sure this is GG. Yeah. Maybe next time it's a really good army and Fender is really not doing anything at this point. So it's just about time, but maybe next time we'll play this safe because he has only one base. He will be just sending the pikemen around the map. Yeah, I mean... There is still one more base, that is an income for Fenrir, but there are not even any towers. He wants to make flying ice stingers, I guess. Maybe hive guards. Actually escaping with another summoner. But he doesn't have wood, so hopefully he won't be able to expand again. He's also not even getting any more wood. I mean, I could write him that he should leave, but... It is his decision, I won't be in, uh, influencing anyone to making any decisions like leaving the game. If he wants to finish it, he can. Uh, is there timer in game? Also maps with timers are better for proper build order. Yeah, there are definitely maps for, with timers. We have them in our Norn library. Which is uh, which is the area where we, have, where we have all the materials for armies of Exiga. You can find the link on our Discord community server. And we have t timer maps for, or I mean timer version for all the official maps from Black Hole, and also some of course custom maps also have that. I think maybe next time I was actually uh, making these versions of maps. Mainly it was him, but also maybe some other players. It's quite complicated uh, trigger editor for the timer, but you can just copy it from any of the maps that have it already. And you can put it there. But yeah, of course it's better for build orders if you really want to make it precise. 
right now we don't have it here and what is on our side yes no wood <laughs> yeah but he started harvesting some now so he is making another expansion actually pushing back okay he made hive guards and maybe next time he doesn't have a single anti-air unit he's making alone centuries but those will get stopped I mean that is the tower, uh, Fenrir could easily destroy that, but he will probably not realize that. The thing is that he can destroy these Elven Centuries easily, and they should have been built here. And I mean yeah, maybe next time he needs to keep pushing, destroying the buildings, even though... I mean yeah, there is a ton of Hive Guards, <laughs> Fenrir might still actually win this. So we probably just built more towers. Fenner is ignoring that, so that's okay. Maybe next time should have went for another expansion. Like five minutes ago. Playing with just one base, it's not really ideal, especially when Fenner has like ten. I mean nice resurrection of the priests, but they will die quickly to these high guards again. He's actually making a blacksmith instead. I mean, you can kill it with Elf Rangers as well, but in this it would be much more effective. So maybe go finish these Elf Centuries now. Yeah, so I mean, this base is dead, but he's also losing basically everything in the backline all catapults and priests. Yeah, the good thing is that Fenrir doesn't have any more resources. He has only two towers here, so basically no threat uh, outside of these hive guards. And those centuries are now finished, so hopefully he can produce at least two phoenixes, maybe start making some elf rangers here. Which is already happening, but the phoenixes are not being produced yet. Wasting a ton of time here. He has the resources for that and also population, so this is just him not paying attention to these buildings. And now more hive guards are coming. This is gonna get destroyed. He needs to repair it at the same time. I mean, to be honest, Fenrir could easily push these three towers with so many hive guards, but he would probably not do that. He would rather try to destroy the buildings around the base. I finally started producing some phoenixes, but he's still not, still not repairing the elf century. We see some Elf Rangers, but those are not too effective. As I said, Fenrir doesn't have any more resources, so this is his last army. Uh, of course, he's getting some resources here with one Harvester, but that shouldn't be a problem. Elven Rangers are destroyed. Okay, so now it's all about Elf Rangers. But we see Elf Ranger, Elf, Elven Century back in here finally. That's a good move. So I don't know what is his plan, but he either needs to fly into these towers or he needs to figure something out on the map. Yeah, these Elf Rangers can definitely keep damaging here. Nice micromanagement into the barracks, I like that. They absorbed the damage, that was really good. But I think maybe next time he needs to start repairing his buildings. He of course doesn't have that much wood, but he already lost half of his town for nothing, I would say. I think maybe next time he should continue with the micromanagement into the barracks. I mean, he has more hive guards here, but he doesn't have population, oh, sorry, resources to make more of them. But I mean, now he actually gathered it a little bit. He's saying that he gives him the win, so we'll see if he will resign. Calling it GG. And eventually left. So yeah, we don't need to wait to, uh, for maybe next time to destroy all the buildings for another half an hour, which is positive. Uh, so maybe next time is the winner here.
160 kills, pretty actually even kill ratio here, maybe next time 20 more or 10 actually only. Uh, decent experience also, his army was pretty leveled up with some auras. And see the research is here actually, Fenrir had a little bit more. And the research is on the Fenrir side a little bit in terms of gold, but on the other side, uh, actually maybe next time had a little bit more gems. And uh, yeah, also Fenrir had a little bit more wood. But yeah, nice game, 40 minutes again. <laughs> That's not something I like to see, but okay.